Hey guys, I'm going to first of all to show you my hair. So this video is going to be like a part two to my last Tomb Raider video. So if you don't like Tomb Raider, don't watch this, don't worry. I have a lot of just sorting some stuff out for uh, The Lost Sword coming back. So this is what I think the next Tomb Raider game and what the future should be like. So this game, Shadow, ended with Lara basically being lonely again. The 2013 one ended and she was lonely you know she was so closed off and rise it ended with her being lonely again you know she had one friend but that was kind of it and she kind of kept pushing that friend away in the comics and this game ended with her alone in a big manner with just winston you know just a caretaker in the manor now you know her servant her butler and it was kind of just it's kind of sad actually just to see the ending, I, I, I was a bittersweet ending, you know, she would become the Tomb Raider, you know, she was excited about her next adventures, she wanted to just take a break, you know, she wanted a break, you know, this Lara, the difference is, in 2013, she wanted to understand, she knew what she must become, she knew what she had to do to be who she meant to be, so she didn't take a break, she just kept going into Rise, and after Rise, she just kept going for months, into shadow she wasn't taking a break you know she wasn't like spending a day in a cafe or spending a day in bed you know she was doing stuff constantly and i think that was really just weighing down on the character in general and then at the end of shadow she realized this is who i am i'm not a murderer i'm not someone who like is cold-blooded i think looking at the box art for the game she does look genuinely insane, you know, I think they captured that a lot. She's sitting there with all these tools, blood all over her, and she looks like she's about to pounce down on someone. And I think that worked very well. But another thing that annoyed me a bit about this game is when you watch the launch trailer versus now when you play the game, it, it does feel a bit... Oh no, I didn't mean to click on the game. A bit... Sorry, kind of different, you know, they have, I think there's a different feeling. There might have been some last minute changes done, but I feel like there is a hole somewhere in the story. And I think it has to do with the fact that you don't get a full resolve on Lara. So that's just my thing. Maybe the DLCs will spend a bit more time about that. Who knows? Maybe the DLCs will take place in another area. They more than likely take that in Paititi and the map. But, you know. Maybe she could have one in London. Maybe there could be a DLC where she's a side mission where it's to explore Croft Manor and help do something. That could be one. I don't know. I hope it will be. We don't know. But they have seven months now to really think about the future. And I think that Rihanna Park Pratchett said that for the future, she wants to take on a more older and grittier Lara. So I think... This game ended, she's 23. She's 23 at the end of this game. I think the next game will take place three years after this. I think Lara will be in a state where she it is probably going to... The PTSD from everything is going to slowly weigh down over her. She's going to try and put on this positive exterior for Jonah, for new friends and all that. But slowly it's weighing in on her and she does genuinely feel like there's something missing. And she feel like, oh god, I need to throw myself back in a situation again. And I think that's where it's going to come into the fact that she's going to throw herself into the situation. But she's going to be too good that she can survive it. And I think that's what's going to happen is that her character, I think this is the first half of a series, is these trilogies. And they want two more games to close out this Lara, but they want the trilogy to build us a Lara to show us how this Lara is going to cope with life. And I think personally, after a while, it's going to weigh down on her. See, the thing is, I'm 15, right? I'm going to be an adult probably when the next game comes out. <laughs> but seeing how it goes, it goes two years, three years, maybe it'll go two years in the next game, or probably like four years, like we got with like fucking Underworld, because uh, technically 2013 was supposed to come out in 2012. So that would have been four years. So maybe four years now till we get another announcement for the next trilogy of games. Which would probably be this Lara. But with different, you know, 
I don't know. I think for me personally, I want more games like this. And I think also my one, I have one problem with this game and is there's not enough combat for me personally. Because there's so many stealth mechanics, there's tons of stealth mechanics, but there's only like 10 times, there's like 4 times you can use the stealth. I remember you can use the stealth in the jungle at the start, you can use in like Mexico, you can use it then in Peru, in Kwakiapu, and then you, you don't do any combat till... You don't do any combat in Paititi whatsoever in the main story, which is kind of weird. You should have been allowed to explore the city, and then there should have been a big combat section where Trinity came in against, you know, Dominguez's, you know, wishes. And it's nighttime, and Lara has to sneak through Paititi and kill off the people. That would have been cool. That would have been a great stealth section, but they didn't do that. Uh, the next stealth section I remember was, um, well, the next combat was in San Juan, I'm pretty sure. Then there was a stealth section in the oil, oil rig area, then that turned into just combat, so it's five, basically. And then the next, there wasn't one till the end of the game, so there was around six, six encounters around that of, of, combat in this game which is kind of weird considering the last game had combat in every section of the map that that's true there wasn't like an area in the last Tomb Raider that didn't have you know combat um the first one there was a couple areas that didn't have it but m most of it did and that's the truth she was kind of just, they were just popping out of nowhere. It was just an excuse. But this game really didn't, like, they had the aspects. They had the combat. They had it all down. But it was not used enough that it felt good or organic. Which is annoying because, you know, she had all these things and she barely used them, you know. But then at the end of the day, she was wiping out loads of Trinity. And by the way, this is what annoys me. There should have been sections in this game which detailed what happened in the, um... Comics. There should have been flashbacks back in the comics or sections of the game where she just had times in the comics because there was a lot of combat and that that's why there's not a lot of Trinity in this game because Lara is killing them all and they are not having time to recue. Trinity's gone, by the way. The High Council was taken out in a second, in a second, by the uh, Ishiel. Gone, the second they came in. They're all the helicopters were destroyed. The Yashil are gone. They're all gone. The cult of Kuku Khan is gone. All that's left is the people of Pai Titi. Who have no future. And there's no need for them there anymore. Because Lara took the box and the dagger. Because she's the protector. That's the thing. Lara is the protector. She took the atlas. Because she's the protector of the divine source. Now what she destroyed that. She took the box and the dagger. Because she's the protector. And she took... Some stuff back from Yamata, like the sword, because she's the protector of that secret. They're, these are her secrets to protect. And now she's going to go and do more. I hope. I like that these games are only focusing on one main tomb and all that. Like, you know, there's one big tomb that, at the end. And, like, there's not really many, like, other story tombs that really have an involvement with the main one. That's what I like. And also, I just wish these games ended in a tomb. This one didn't end in a tomb. It kind of did, but didn't. It ended like a old abandoned city. I would have preferred if... Because in the trailer and on the box art and the loading screen, there's a big pyramid out of nowhere. I would have liked for when Lara got into City of the Serpent, she viewed a pyramid. And loads of clouds cleared from the pyramid as like the light from the eclipse shined down onto it or something, you know, which would have been cool. Um, see, because there's a moon god in the game, the moon god caused a crack in the moon, which shined down and revealed the temple. That would have been cool. And Lara had to make her way watching the eclipse happen, fight, uh, sneaking past Trinity, which would have been cool, like a big jungle scene where she's like sliding down the hill killing him kind of like you know the opening 
a CGI trailer, kind of climbing up, climbing up at the trees, shooting them, running through like old ruins as they're collapsing from all the all, like many versions of all the disasters happening. Then she looks back at her, and the volcano fully erupts and fully goes off behind her, and it co like it just covers the tomb she left. You know that would have been another cool thing. Well, it's not even in that tomb. Would it, she would have seen it covering San Juan and destroying the area. And she hops up on a tree and sees, you know, the apocalypse happening. And she realizes, oh, what do I do? What do I do? It's happening. And then, like, you know, she gets to the tomb and she stops it. That would have been cooler. And then when... By the way, I want to clear something up that's different from my last one. It's not Ur Uranta being sacrificed. It's the um, god. Uh, what? Kuku Khan. I think, I don't know what god it is, I kind of forget, there's so many gods mentioned in this game, like, every single mural you read is a new god. It's actually the god, Lara is infused with the god of Kuku Khan, I think, and then it's sucked out of her, and that's why people think she's dying, she's not, she's sacrificing the god, which has infused her body, so she's kind of sacrificing herself, but not really, she's, Lara's a god at the end of the game, basically, she could have the power to do anything, but she had the power to restore the world and restore the sun. Before the world was destroyed and the apocalypse happened. But that would have been cooler to happen. Like the opening sequence where she gets snapped. That, and Jonah like jumped up and like yelled at Lara. And then instead like a big force who covered her. And she saw the temple collapsing. And the woman who was doing it. Yashil. Not the leader of the Yashil. Just disappeared. And Uranta's, Uranta's ghost fade it away to show that she was gone. Would have made more sense and Lara's more kind of like, I think I'm gonna go, like Lara would say, I'm going back to the manor. I, I wanna just live a normal life, Jonah. And then Jonah like, yeah, but we have more adventures to do. And she's like, yeah, I think I'll go back and I'll take a month to myself and then start my research. That would have been a nice ending, you know, to show that she is one of those Honestly, I was under the impression at the end of the game that she's done and she doesn't want to tomb raid anymore. But that's not, you know, she's excited for her next adventure, whatever it may be. And she wants to cherish them. Which is cool. But I think the future is that we'll get another game in the near future. Around a year or two. Wait. Then we'll get a new game. And then I think that might... They might do two more games in this timeline. And then... I don't know what they're going to do next. Because personally... They can't go back to what the old games are like because it wouldn't work. We wouldn't, no one would really, you know, want to say, see a game. I think this new survival action horror kind of type is cool. You know, Lara surviving in an area, you know, using the resources, being attacked by the wildlife. It makes more sense instead of Lara just having a machine gun and killing panthers and jaguars and then you know, getting on a motorbike and leaving the jungle, you know, that just doesn't feel as organic to me, I think this feels more organic, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, if you want to see more Tomb Raider videos, tell me in the comments, and I'll see you next time, goodbye.